Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain, and I'm your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our seven-day-a-week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 294 of our trek, and yesterday we hiked the 14th trail of this trek, which was the trail of the process of discipleship. Today we'll explore a very important aspect of the overall trek, and that is the trail of rest. There is a total of 18 trails on this trek, which we are calling the Principles of Spiritual Growth. And this is adapted from a short book written by Miles J. Stanford. These are practical lessons, and they were instrumental in my spiritual growth as a young man, seeking to create and live my legacy. As we continue on each trail of this overall trek, I trust that you will also find some valuable information for your own life, regardless of where you happen to be on your faith trek. Each of the trails of this hike do build on the previous one, so if you miss any of the days of our Wisdom Trek, please go to wisdom-trek.com to listen to them and to read the Daily Journal. We are recording our podcast from our studios at home, too, in Charlotte, North Carolina. After several weeks of warmer than normal weather, it looks like this next week will be a bit cooler, especially since we'll be farther up north at the big house for the next couple of weeks. As I mentioned when we left there the last time, the furnace in the big house has to be replaced due to a crack in the heat exchanger. Fortunately, the new furnace will be installed early this next week, so there should not be very many days that we are there without a furnace. Fortunately, all the bedrooms do have gas inserts in them, and the kitchen and eating area in the back of the house has a separate large floor furnace, so the house really is not without a source of heat. These situations are part of life. Things wear out, and they break down. In the same way, to make sure that our body, mind, and soul do not wear out prematurely, we need to exercise, eat properly, always be learning, and invest the time in meditation and prayer each day. One very important area that I still need to get better at is investing the proper time into sleep, rest, and relaxation. And as we head out on our hike for today, let us explore this very important trail, which is a trail of rest. This is the 15th of 18 trails, which makes up the trek that we're calling the Principles of Spiritual Growth. Through discipleship, which we explored over the past two days, in order to become more and more like our master, that is Christ, it does require a significant amount of focus on our part. Remember, first we must die to self then be diligent in our growth so that we can produce an abundant harvest, which will allow us to use the harvest to feed others that hunger and thirst after God's justice. This process may appear exhausting to us. What this scenario of discipleship does not take into account, though, is that God has already provided us with the rest through this process. An analogy which is used in Hebrews chapter 3 and 4 is the comparison of the nation of Israel who disobeyed God when they refused to enter the promised land, which is referred to as God's rest for them. The nation refused to listen to Moses and Joshua and forfeited their rest for 40 years. Now someone greater than Moses is here, which is Christ. In Hebrews chapter 3 verses 3 and 4, it explains it this way. But Jesus deserves more glory than Moses, for just as a person who builds a house deserves more praise than the house itself, for every house has a builder, but the one who built everything is God. What Moses and Joshua were unable to do was completely fulfilled in Christ. Hebrews chapter 4 verses 8 through 11 explains it this way. Now if Joshua had succeeded them in giving them this rest, God would not have spoken of another day of rest still to come. So there is a special rest still waiting for the people of God. For all who have entered into God's rest have rested from their labors, just as God did after creating the world. So let us do our best to enter that rest. If we disobey God, as the people of Israel did, we will fall. When we are obedient to the Master, we will find rest in Him. We do not need to carry the burden of discipleship on us. To revisit the snippet out of Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And Christ tells us how to attain the rest that we need as his disciple in Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 and 29. Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. When we view our work or ministry as a burden to be endured, then we will never find peace and rest in it, and we will grow weak and weary. When we are disobedient to God's precepts in His Word, then even our good actions in other areas of life will become a drudgery for us. We certainly do need to make sure that we do get the proper amount of sleep. This is vitally important. And sometimes we just need to unplug from our daily task and then plug into God for recharging, as our Master Jesus did, in Luke chapter 5, verse 16, which says, But Jesus often withdrew into the wilderness for prayer. It would be wise if we did the same. And we also need to take time to rest in God and His promises, as described in one of my favorite passages, which is Isaiah chapter 40, verses 28 through 31. Have you not heard? Have you not understood? 
The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of all the earth. He never grows weak or weary. No one can measure the depths of his understanding. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youths will become weak and tired, and young men will fall into exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. On our trek, The Principles for Spiritual Growth, today we learn the vital importance of obedience and plugging into God on the trail of rest. There are two factors for our rest to be complete. First, we are to be obedient to His Word, and second, we are to put our trust in God for the strength that we need. When we do this, we will be able to carry on effectively every day on our trek of life. By following these two important factors will allow us to find the rest for our souls, and once we have rested, we will find new strength to carry on. Tomorrow we will move on to the next trail, which is the trail of help. Every trail that we hike will help us to create and live our legacy each day. So encourage your family and friends to join us, and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. That will finish our podcast for today. Just as you enjoy these daily doses of wisdom, we ask you to help us to grow Wisdom Trek by sharing it with your family and friends through email, Facebook, Twitter, or in person as you meet with them, and invite them to come along with us each day. The journal for today's trek can be found at wisdom-trek.com. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. As we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.